And so let's have a look at Blowfish with Cyber Block Chaining. Okay, so Blowfish is a standard private key encryption method. We encrypt with one key and we decrypt with the same key. It's uh, defined as symmetric encryption. We use the same key on either side. There's a number of bits. A uh, typical one is 128 bits to be able to, to encrypt. And we can use different message blocks from 32 to 448 bits in, in width. OK, so there is our message blocks and we add our secret key. The problem here is that every block that we encrypt is going to be the same. So an intruder can play back an encrypted message without even knowing what the key is. So if they know that this is hello, then it's possible for them to play back and copy encrypted blocks together to make a, a perfectly legible cipher block. What we normally do is we add some salt and we create an initialization vector. And this gives us the concept of CBC or cipher block chaining, where we take an IV and then we add it into the block, we create our cipher, and then the output of that block is then fed into the next block to be able to uh, encrypt that one and to change it. So here's a code block without using CBC. And you can see that even though this is using a high quality encryption, we can still you we can still see the same blocks are still encrypted with the same encrypting block. If we use CBC, we can see it's completely randomised. Okay, so we'll have a look at our example here. So let's put in that, let's go for an initialization vector of 2. So here we are. Okay, so we're going to use Blowfish, and what we do is we use our CBC block cipher. So in this case, we're using Bouncy Castle for this one. So we'll let it run until we get to here. OK, so what we do is that uh, we create uh, an 8-byte array for our key. And that comes with a parameter key. We then add our initialization vector onto our key. So again, we have 8, eight bytes. And we've put in a value of 2 here for it. And then that creates our key that we then apply onto the cipher. Okay, so we're using Blowfish with CBC. And there's our initialization vector. It's been added correctly. And so in this case, if it's true, then it's going to encrypt. So this is encrypted, our string. So this is our output buffer in bytes. And this is a function that will be a method which converts it into a string. So the next time we come in here, we're actually going to decrypt. So this is false, so we're now going to decrypt. So this part here will do a decryption instead of an encryption. So again, we go through again. Get to this point. And so in this case, we have decrypted. And now the output buffer is this. And hopefully when we convert that back, We 
should get our original string back again, and we do. So let's run through and finish. And there we go. So we can see there, there's the encrypted cipher. That's the same in hex. And then this is the decrypted value. Okay, so that's shown how CBC actually works. If we change the IV vector, hopefully we can still decrypt. But what we should get is a different cipher text. So we just get rid of the breakpoints. Another one. And so on. Okay, so that's Sean Blowfish with CBC.